Everett goes with uh, Stafford. Creswell, first touch, first kick, and uh, ball goes to half forward. Pickett, quite a few players with long sleeve uh, Guernseys on today. Pickett's kicked the centre wing. Doreen snatched it quite beautifully and uh, handballs away to Garlic at half back. On the right and gets the ball long distance. Shannon Grant, big fly, went early. Neil against his old team, back to Winma, who was uh, brilliant in the burst against uh, Fremantle last week. Harvey had a ton of touches, gets an early one out wide. Here's Wakeland forward looking for uh, Daniels and here's his brother Shane Wakeland they look for a free kick Ruse leg didn't get a free kick garlic around the body goes to Dyson a bit fortuitous Dyson at center wing wants to play on now forced to delivers the ball not particularly well and Burke cuts it off so some loose footy there Burke in the heart of the center square this one of the co-captains is at 50 meters it is Kelly attempted to block him up a bit. I didn't think he went that far well, over. I didn't Don. think either. I was going to be a little bit critical of Nathan Burke for not getting back quick enough, not giving himself enough uh, the man on the mark and himself to kick the ball, but boy, that was a little harsh, I My thought. Word. That is 75 metres. They were 10 metres off the front of the square going the other way. Got the length of the square. That's, that's got to be 60 be plus. Yeah, this could He's be only 25 metres out. Nathan Burke kicks and has actually hoiked it across to the left so that's just a disappointing result there from a gimme you don't know what kelly said to the umpire he might have added a few more to it <laughs> a few more meters meters well i shouldn't do that the rules say you can't do that though don 50 is 50. it's a point first quarter saints strange one doreen looking for an opportunity or two he's undecided goes long Punch away from Luff from uh, Shane Wakeland. He's got the long sleeve uh, Guernsey on his brother and the short sleeve his twin. There he is in the background. Ozzy Jones, the baby face. In front of him. Expected uh, to get to 11. It won't make it. It's nine. It's stuck. Now Luff usually brings the ball over the back. Oh, he's not going. Stafford's doing the ruck work. That's interesting. Harvey took it. Held up by Creswell. And again a bounce. So many interesting man-on-man uh, -man duels today. Good midfields for both, great forwards, exciting youngsters. Well, they're both full-backs. Bruce Dunkley's in fine form on low and Shanahan on Lockett. That's their terrific matchups as well. Burke caught by uh, Kelly. That's uh, another one. Now Keo back to Burke. Goes to ground. Got a little push. Daniels, kick it held him up. Keo quickly onto the boot. And Stafford runs it out. Grass reasonably long has been kept long because of the conditions in Melbourne. Plenty of frost over the last uh, few days and rain. National Sportsbook says 10 to 9 St Kilda, 6 to 4 on Sydney. So it's a very good betting match up here with the National Sportsbook. There's a uh, Wakeland, Stafford. Tempt off the ground by Mooney. Young's handball trying to get through. Sydney holding them up well. Here's Luff away. One of the success stories uh, this season. Will it sit for Ruse? It does. Everything's been made perfect now as Ruse goes over the top to Hughes because Hughes just controls it to lock it. Shanahan worked him under. They're a long way from home. Neil and Grant. Neil will paddle it to the line. Finds a boundary throw in. Swans for the first time deep into attack right forward pocket. Well, Lockett's got an opponent on him in Jeremy Shanahan. Just as strong, if not stronger than Lockett. You can see it just as they were going out of screen there. Everett, with Lachlan for the ruck, you'd expect the big fella to win, and he does. Taps it down in the direction of Grant, taps it back through his legs. On hands and knees, ball pushed towards the boundary line. Socket off the ground by Grant. Brian, dangerous, and swamped by two St Kilda players, Wakeland and Pickett, and it's over the line. Another boundary throw in, right forward pocket. but uh, kick it is being picked up by Rod Keogh Matthew Young not having that job Keogh caught high tackle interesting the ruck work Lachlan kick it that time went against Everett their defensive ruck work uh, Lockett not being used out to Bardsley has some space goes for a bounce now kicks long and really to no one Luff sits underneath it and takes an easy mark so Troy Luff really has been playing well of late beautiful kick back into the middle to Stafford off to O'Loughlin. Great running stuff here by the Swans. Kicks out wide and garlic. 55 metres out. 
Lockett, O'Brien. Which one is it? It's O'Brien. Leads hard. Gets one hand to it. Barsley there right with him. Shanahan back to help out and comes across goal. Confidently too. It could be dangerous. That half off brilliantly played by Keo. There's a wonderful attack on the footy. Kelly. Well done, though. He's hurt himself, Keo too. He's limping. Brown held up, Kelly. Hughes just kicks a good one to O'Brien. Sits under it and marks. He'll always run straight, Rod Keo, and he really did risk himself for the sake of the team in that situation. Not too many guys who are prepared to do that. And just prior to this, here's the mark, but Keo in the hands of the trainers, and he's going to come off the ground. What a wretched luck. There's Rod Keo, a real goer. O'Brien, who uh, kicked over 50 goals a couple of seasons ago for the Saints, now playing against his old team. He's kicked it beautifully for goal. He's becoming important, isn't he, O'Brien, as this season goes on. Six against Hawthorne, six against Carlton, and he's got the first today against his old club. Yes, he's been everywhere. The boy from Rye started with Essendon. Sydney uh, went to St Kilda. Now at Sydney, there he is. Cameron O'Brien, a good junior football at Rye. He's first. Center, Elliot on to replace Keo. Great running stuff here. Jones to low. Great football. So Stewie Lowe will eventually kick from about 40 metres. And there's Stewie Lowe. And he's just great. A lot of admiration for this man. He's certainly worked on himself since he came into football. He's really built himself up. And the other thing is he's worked on his kicking. He is now a good kicker. He was a fairly pathetic kick when he first started. The first shot by one of them. And it's a goal to Stewie Lowe. First for the Saints. And he was happy as soon as that ball had left the boot, Stewie Lowe. He was running back to the centre. As I said, he's really worked on that kicking. And here's Everett, the big fellow in there, gets the bounce or the hit out. And St Kilda are really very good at getting the ball out of the centre. One of the best teams in the AFL. Looks a bit like a train. His first, Stuart Lowe. Secured at 1 1. Sydney a goal. There's an infringement in the centre square. And it's going to the uh, Swans to be taken by Stafford. Gets good distance, kicks the ball well inside 50. Lock it on a long lead. Couldn't get hold of it. Peckett went to ground. Well played. He uh, did that very cleverly because he saw that Lockett was in a position to take his handball and he kept his feet in the end. And Young dashes away and kicks beautifully to Smith. That's a great build up by the Saints. Low goes a good kick he kicks it in his direction he's too big too strong and on that occasion just in the right spot wasn't he and Dunkley may have to lower his colors today he's been in terrific form all year Andrew Dunkley and here's the man he's playing on Stuart Lowe look one hand bang it's a good kick too wasn't it by Smith he's got great hands they wrap around that ball on going in low was 27 goals in front at the same stage of last year this year and so is Lockett they're both plus 27 this season they're battling it out for the Coleman medal and Lowe's kicked his second now if that man starts to fire I wonder what Sydney are going to do as far as a full back is concerned that's his 400th goal for the uh, Saints 400 goals for the Saints it's a great effort and the build up and because Dunkley really only can play in that full-back position. He's not a great kick, but he's a very strong competitor, strong in the upper body, and has done well in that position of full-back. And it'll cause a bit of a turnaround for this Sydney side because they have been rather settled. Centre bounce takeaway, all important, particularly if you can dominate with the skills coming out of there. Everett does well on the ground for the big fella. Kick goes over Daniels' heads, miles away from his marker. It's now coming in his ruse. Really pushed off the ball too easy there. Ruse does very well. Doreen caught. Has enough balance. Off to Seymour. Goes back around to the boundary line. Back to Garlic. Getting kicks early in this game. Kicks the ball along the wing. Vacant space. Big Everett comes at it. And picks it up. Inside goes underground. Very poor kick. Garlic again. Confronted by Jones. O'Loughlin taps it over cleverly. Huskus thumps the ball forward and out of bounds. Actually that... 
go down to the boundary. Birdie, what have you got for yeah, us? Scotty, uh, Rock Cow's back on his feet. He, he uh, got a bad kick in the uh, shin area, which has helped. It's not helped his calf because it's uh, it started to bleed. So we don't expect him to see him back in the game this afternoon. Just saw a replay over there, Jim, but thanks for that. It looked a really hard blow. So Keo unlikely to come back. Free kick to going for them early. You get a feeling when you come to a ground and you see it match early on. And whilst there's not much of the difference on the scoreboard, the Saints look to have started a little better than uh, Sydney after Sydney got the first. Ruse underneath it. With him uh, to, to stop him was Neil. Butted up well, Neil. Kicks to full forward. Dutton, got a bad bounce. Low couldn't quite. Pushes to Harvey. Should kick a goal in the pocket. Unselfishly goes to Beveridge who kicks the goal. That feeling's stronger after that bad bounce for Dunkley. 3-1 to a goal. Yes, and Luke Beveridge, who's been really good coming on and off the bench, starting on the ground today. And here he is, Luke by himself. And Harvey, I think he tried to kick the goal. He didn't try and get it across to Beveridge. Just didn't come off. It's in Kilda starting in terrific fashion. Stafford with the tap. Maxwell tries to run onto it, then go, tries to go off the ground. Oh, kick it. Magnificent skills of kick it. And to lock it, almost got it. Shanahan able to recover and kick the ball out wide. Racing towards the boundary line. Winmar in pursuit. Stops. Now has a look. Has a bit of time. And Huska smothers brilliantly and out of bounds. It's interesting in that bounce down, I just wish we could pan across because what's happening is that Daniels is trying, now Daniels is playing on Ruse. Now Ruse picks up a lot of kicks but he's not going with him. As soon as the ball's bounced down, Daniels is going out to the half forward flank, Ruse has to stay in the centre there, trying to drag Ruse out because he has been a dominant player in recent weeks. Everett just taps it to the boundary line. Interesting though, isn't it? Lockett's had two kicks directly at him. One's been just over his head, one just in front of him. And at the other end of the ground, low, two perfect passes. And there's Ruse and Daniels, and uh, Daniels usually gets a big job since uh, Zillow's been out of this side. So between wing and half forward, a lot of players. Swans do this a lot, really do play defensively well. Kelly takes Smith out of the action. Harvey gives it off to the running Matthew Young. Now confronted by Ruse, has to... So it's two on one. Stafford low in the middle, Stafford in front, good mark. A good battle between he and uh, Everett, both mobile players. Fantastic kick to Kelly by Stafford. Kelly quickly on. He's uh, measured that beautifully. Two to Grant. If it sits, he's a left footer, remember. He'll try and turn his man Elliot inside out. He couldn't. Boundary throw in right in front of the seventh commentary position. Elliot has played uh, six games now this season, and Grant has been one of the success stories of 1996. 3 1 to a goal. Low with two. Beveridge one. O'Brien's got the goal for Sydney. Luff. Wakeland, Dyson, Harvey, Creswell, Young, caught up by Dyson, again will be a bounce. They really do work something, Sydney, at these boundary throw-ins. and around, um, Now, Luff is always coming over the back on the forward line when he goes for the hit-out. Stafford, you can see, well, we can't see, but he's going as a loose man directly opposite on the other flank, so it'll be interesting to see if they get the ball across. Here's Harvey, still Harvey, got rid of Huskas, all right, then balances up, good kick to Smith. He's got great vision, Harvey. Smith on the left. Kicks to a centre wing. Garlic doing well. Got in front of Ozzy Jones. Took the mark. Delivers the ball into Dyson. Dyson should run on. Lockett goes now, but it, uh, he goes to Maxfield on the left. Lockett now goes for Maxfield short. Maxfield goes long. High ball. O'Loughlin the target. And Grant. Oh, well done, Grant, running back. It's a good effort. He was against the flow, and the ball was in the air for a long time. And he had to maintain concentration, and he did. What would you have done in this situation, Malcolm? I think I would have ducked the head and made a valiant attempt and tried to disguise the fact that <laughs> someone's going to crunch me. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? I mean, he, he really was under heat. Knew it too. And just kept their arms up straight. It was good. It takes a lot of courage to do what that little man did on that occasion. There he is, Shannon Grant from Western Jets. Kicks from uh, 15, 20 metres out. He's got it. So the match tightens a bit in. It's 3-1, two goals. Everything's starting to settle now. And he has, hasn't he made an improvement? He played half back early and that really gave him a lot of confidence. Now playing on the forward line. He had a dirty day last week, uh, Shannon Grant. Maxfield 
who I I really don't think works in terribly well with Lockett either. Holds it up. It goes long when he should be going short. That's something that can be worked on. Saints, seven points in front, halfway through this quarter. Oh, fantastic tap from Stafford. Off to Kelly, chips it, and just misses Lockett again. Back onto it, O'Loughlin. Back to Kelly. Super play from the skipper. What a goal to the Swannies. Oh, unbelievable. Paul Kelly is growing in stature in this competition like you've never seen a player grow in the last 12 months. Well, the breaks all came his way. You can see there, they're not, they're opened up the front end of the square. He really didn't finish that off properly, Kelly, but then follows on well. O'Loughlin, that was smart play by O'Loughlin. Like a training drill. Super fit and can bench press big weights, Paul Kelly. Point the difference. Fabulous goal by the skipper. And Stafford's tap was a beauty too. Wakeland caught up. Has to get rid of it in a hurry. Burke hard. Cop the tough one from Doreen. Play on call. This game is uh, hotting up now. It's red hot as garlic goes to lock it. He's underneath it again. Shanahan pushed him out. Play on. O'Loughlin normally good. Peckett's got it. He just didn't kick it hard enough, O'Loughlin. Peckett away. Saints by a point. They're playing for a lot today. Maybe a chance to make the eight. Peckett drew his man. Got it to Neil. Neil, left foot, delivers. Sweetly to Everett, an important play because Stafford has started extremely well on Everett today. Everett goes in short, Ruse may cut it off, a little bit of indecision. Beveridge, twists, turns, delivers poorly really to Burke, back to Harvey, accelerates like a champion, then kicks on the left, low underneath, Dunkley goes to ground, Ruse under pressure, has to give it away, it's a chance for Brown on the left, hooks, misses a behind. But the pressure was good by St Kilda. Forced the error and pushed it through for a point. 3-2 three, to three goals. Well, it's good by the big co-captain uh, down on the forward line, Stuart Lowe, laying that tackle, putting them under a lot of pressure. That's Swan defence. It's going to be a good Bruce game, turning it? it over. So, yes, Swan. I was just thinking, Bruce, that uh, the fir you know, first half of the first quarter, it just is 50-50 stuff, isn't it? I mean, and it's exciting as well. It really has started off at some sort of... Kick out to Dunkley. Likes to handball normally. He's going to be forced to kick here because all the players have left him. Comes back into the middle to Dyson. Oh, they're running beautifully. This is Doreen. Gives it to kick it. Back onto his left side. Favours that. And slipping over there was Swans players. Now falls at the back to Winmar. And the kick really, uh, with that slip, really did hurt them. Out to Jones. And he marks between wing and half back. Now looks forward. Kick smothered. Ball falls to Brown. Good run. Back Good to Jones. Run. Really is an exciting young player. Kick it with his magic. Gets out of that somehow and gives it off to Ruse. Ruse has a player loose. It's Luff. Oh, Luff. Fair Deacon can go a mile. He's got players running into the centre. Really chose the wrong option almost, but got by Lockham with a missed kick, I feel. Yeah, I agree. He hooked that, but they had numbers there, Sydney. And Ruse is a bit of a problem, isn't he? He's just playing at that centre half back position. Daniels is still with him, and Daniels is trying to drag him out of that centre-half back position, but he won't go. It's almost Luff had too many options in. There were three or four of them, and he eventually found the youngster, O'Loughlin. Kicks from just inside 50. He's hit it just enough, and unfortunately only a point results, and that is the margin. The Saints lead by a point. Derek Kickett in uh, rare form early. That kick to uh, Ruse was outstanding. His pickup in the centre five minutes ago was breathtaking. Peckett very short to Barty. He can get the wobbles up occasionally, Peckett, the designated kicker. Not a good handball by Barty. Didn't have enough on it. Peckett played it beautifully. Back to Barty. I think he could feel Lockett coming and he kicked quickly. And Maxfield's got it. Well, got Brian's to, on. Yeah, he's got him, Don. He'll hit him on the chest a long way from goal, unfortunately, for the uh, Swans. Actually, he's not much closer than what, uh, it was a garlic who had the ball, who kicked it across Maxfield. to O'Brien, Maxfield. He's probably Here's Maxfield. Now, he's not much closer, and the angle is far more acute. He is kick. He's kicked it uh, pretty well. Lockett's got some hope. Everett and Shanahan. Well, three big men there, both for the ball. And size, uh, scores are tied here at Waverley Park. Three goals, two apiece. Trianidis coming on for St Kilda. He's warming up. I don't know what move they're going to make. 
The runner is down in the St Kilda back line. Kick Peckett to himself. Now goes much longer. Jones has to fly. Nearly took a goodie. Ground hits the ground running. Gives it off the beverage. Caught by Kelly. That is a super tackle. Oh, fantastic pressure by the Swans here. Stafford bends down, picks it up to Doreen. Has to kick it very quickly and got it high. So a free kick will come back to Doreen on centre wing. And the Swans are very effective with their kick out drills. Move their wingmen, half forwards, everyone close it up. Big long kick. Lock it. Shit. Yes. Well, Bardsley might have put Shanahan off on that occasion. Good mark by the big fellow, nonetheless. And it's, uh, it's reasonably noisy too for the Swans, isn't it? There is a bit of support for them. Now here is the mark. Now watch Bardsley coming across. Well, I don't know whether Shanahan could have got there anyway because it was a good loop by the big fellow. Was, went early. Just held enough in the air and a terrific mark. The expert goal kicker of the competition, Tony Lockett, kicks from 45 metres. The goal umpire has hardly moved. The Swans in front. And Jamie Elliott has come off and try and eat his on for uh, St Kilda. Now Elliott was playing down on the half-back line. Try and eat his going half-forward. And Lockett would be anxious to do well today against his old side. Kicked 100 goals for them on three occasions. Four-two-three-two. Sydney on the burst. Kelly again out of the centre, up to full forward. Lockett tries to take a spectacular grab. Well done by Neil. Neil's kicks good to Brown, and the Saints counter punch. Brown with the bounce, then runs the full distance. Kicks to half forward. Wakeland's fly was okay. Smith. A lot of players are going to ground as Dipper suggested they might. The handball over the top was not so good by Trinidi. Seymour to Maxfield. Sydney on top at the moment after the Saints have started better. Maxfield scrubbing kick gives his forwards no hope. Winmar, Huskis playing as a defender. Up forward on Winmar, boundary throw in. Notice Lockett a moment ago giving Everett a real tongue lashing. And Everett gave him a bit back. So there might have been something happening a few moments ago when Everett got back to help Shanahan out. They do play wide of one another. There's Everett. It's a giant of a man, but well read by Creswell. Just an up and under, but gets a bit of distance. Lockett coming in hard. He's got a fair I'll bit of it. will be playing the man in front. Exactly right. Good decision, umpire. And Lockett accepts it pretty well, I think. It's an interesting one. No doubt Wakeland touched it first. He did, yeah, fair enough. Lockett did rip it away. Young's away as I speak to half back. And a terrific kick to Neil. Has Peckett running for him. The skills need to be good here. It's too long. Goes to Smith instead. Young Joel Smith. One of the real likely types in St Kilda. This is where the Swans are terrific. Their whole half forward line's now moved up in defensive positions. They really do block it. Huge there by Beveridge. And has been paid. But if you mark like that, Don, doesn't matter how many blokes you put down there. It's a big jump. It is a great jump. There's little Lukey. He's a great little worker too. Didn't get his opportunity at Melbourne. In their halcyon days a few years ago. Moved over to Footscray. And now with St Kilda. His father's a recruiting man at St Kilda. John Beveridge. But Luke is a real little gun. Trains hard and plays hard. So kicking just on 50. To low. And it's a goal to second. And the scores are tied again. There's marvellous mark there from Luke Beveridge. Stuart Lowe protected him from behind and kick it was, well, he was the, a step ladder, wasn't yeah, he? <laughs> There's nothing much a kicker <laughs> could do in this situation. He usually does that to the opposition kick it. And he got a bit of his own medicine back. A couple to Beveridge, a couple to Lowe. Lockett, Grant, Kelly, and O'Brien down the other end for Sydney. McLean on the ball now to do battle with uh, Stafford. Lane uh, taps it, but Stafford read it well. He's a promising player. Kicks inside 50. O'Loughlin had a bit of it. Uh, off the ground by the Saints to centre wing. Harvey's attack was good. 
has to concede ground back to Young. Wrong foots his opponent and then takes a chance that kicks the ball badly to Derek Kicker, who normally likes to bounce off these situations. Kicks out towards O'Brien, Bardsley with him. O'Brien held his ground. He's unlucky not to get a free kick. Winmar got pushed in the back. No free kick there. O'Brien around the body to fall forward. Grant and Neil in the box seat. Neil punches away. Burke took it beautifully. It was fantastic football by the co-captain. To Young, to Neil. Over the top to McLean. Back to Neil at half-back. It's exciting stuff. Comes through the centre. That's not so exciting. Luff, can they make them pay? Attacks the ball hard. Kicks it over Lockett's head. Shanahan belts it away. Jones sits, waits. Misses Peckett. He's got time to sit on it and come from the back pocket. Peckett goes wing and finds Wakeman. So rebound footy here by both sides as the crowd get right into this game. It's quite noisy here at Waverley. And the support, as I mentioned before, for the Swans is uh, is fantastic. Inside. Oh, very good mark to Brown. Well, they had tremendous support when they were down at the Lakeside Oval. Always a big crowd went down to the Lakeside Oval. That was the old South Melbourne side. But Brown in the direction of Lowe. Oh, he's swamped by Swans. Good read by Creswell to Seymour. Creswell then just decides to just waltz it round to the boundary line, and he's happy to see it out. There's a St Kilda player down on the 50-metre line. There he is. He's writhing in agony. He was just before that camera got to him. Let's hope he's all right. We just can't pick him Could up. Could be low. Is it, is it low? Yes, I think it is true at low. Stewie low it is. He might have got one behind the ear. Remember he got a hard knock last week against he's, uh, Fremantle? He's had a few actually this year. Harvey spins. And he's still off on the to ground Smith. too. Sorry, Malcolm. He's still on the ground. And two on one here. Everett over the back. Oh, but a fantastic mark from Dunkley. Wants to play on to Ruse. Had some danger in it. Ruse has enough composure. Out to Luff. Starting to find some of the footy too. Kicks to open spaces. Kelly and Burke. Look at this. Oh, a fantastic chase from Burke. And a fantastic get from Kelly. And it's out centre wing. And Lowe wouldn't be too good actually. As we watch this. If you've had a couple around the head region. It really does shake the old brain box up. <laughs> it's the brain box. <laughs> yes it does. Clean and Luff go for this. Clean probably gets his hand on it. Kelly in tight, Dyson has to go back. A lot of noise from behind. Low and Dunkley just oh, confirming on what behind. happened. And the kick goes forward and is well marked by Creswell. It's on behind, there's Dunkley and Low. And Low's still going, he's not happy. Dyson short to the pocket. Free kicking, man in front of Bardsley. The emer Sorry, Bruce, the emergency umpire has run out. And maybe there's a blood, might be a blood rule applied here. There's the emergency umpire running out to Stuart Lowe. Well, last week, accidentally, he copped a very hard knock. Uh, Chisholm, I think it was, uh, in the last quarter. Kicked by Winmar. Had to be accurate. It is to Darrell Wakeland over the top to Ozzy Jones. Lock it with him. Garlic to Luff. Luff comes back inside to Garlic. Garlic's 52 metres, well done. Short, Huskus. Still a testing kick for Huskus. Late in this opening uh, quarter. Luff getting some touches. Garlic uh, playing it very short. O'Brien no, was uh, also loose, but it's about interesting, 10 Bruce. Back. Just behind play, the emergency umpire is conferring with the field umpire. Now going down to Stuart Lowe. Kick the goal, by the way, Don. On the side. And I think what was happening was that uh, the blood rule was being applied. Lowe wouldn't go off the ground. He was being attended to. You can see there on his right ear, the trainer applying or trying to stop the blood. Now he's got to go off. The umpire is telling him he's got to go off the ground, but Lowe wanted to stay on. John Harvey talking to him a moment ago. So an unlikely source for the goal. Huskers on the siren. And that was an outstanding quarter of football. Sydney, a goal in front on at the break. 5-2 to 4-2 as we take a break from Waverley Park. And Daniels and it's interesting if you pose on that camera shot or stop on that. Now that's centre half forward. And what St Kilda players doing uh, is grouping as one at centre half forward. You see them moving around. No opening on the flanks. The opposite down the other end. Sydney have got the front end of their square wide open. Start of the second quarter at Waverley Park. The Swans a goal in front. Kelly went to ground. Burke comes out of the centre square. Runs wide and then uh, delivers the ball to full forward. Front spot McLean. 
Dudley against him. Missed by Wakeland. Mooning quickly onto the boot. Out to centre wing. Good take, Jones. Lovely mark. Tell us about Stewie Lowe, Dibber. Just waiting for his uh, jumper to come down from the dressing rooms uh, because uh, the first one he had on has blood on it. Thanks for that. Brown in the centre. Well, that would be something they'd want to do in a hurry, wouldn't they? Winmar takes the chance, takes his man on, got a shepherd, kicks out wide. Grant went early. Neil, well done, and then hooks back cleverly to Winfrey. Well, so it's got to be a little bit critical of St Kilda and Winmar because he wasn't very direct in going for goal. He went really wide to this position there. Neil getting the ball and Everett, not a confident mark, but nonetheless he took it. Seven kicks for Neil early. Everett normally a most reliable kick. Saw him miss a few in the game against uh, Richmond. They were costly. Both he and Lowe were poor kicks for goal that day, but Everett normally does not miss. Stutters a bit. Leans over, leans back, delivers, kicks the goal. He's a three and four man, this fellow. Five times this year he's kicked three goals, and on two occasions he's kicked four. It's five times. And there he is with his long sleeve, pulling it up. He doesn't often wear the long sleeve. He prefers the short, as you can see. Now he's back on, the clean off. It's a bit like Andrew Gaze a couple of years ago. Andrew Gaze playing for Melbourne Tigers. Caught one and had his head bandaged like a mummy. Back in the centre. Stafford taps it over the top. Uh, it infringes. And the free kick will go to Harvey. Harvey out wide. There's a running play there in Robbie Neal. Neal onto his left foot towards. Low. Goes early. Almost takes a super mark. Falls. Maxfield there to climb. Clean up. The ball goes back into the centre. Players have to sit and wait. It's tapped forward. Harvey tries to grab hold of it. Garlic caught by Everett and absolutely dumped. Ball spills out the back. Trying it. He's a clever little tap to Winmar. Taken high. Call play on. Seymour. Once again, Huskis under pressure goes to the boundary line through the interchange gate Smart as Rosie play. Jones comes at him. Smart play by Huskis. Harvey hunched over there. He might have caught one. Just trying to find some breath. Running with him is Darren Creswell. For the two big fellas, Everett, Stafford. Just push it down to those two players. Kick off the ground, try and eat his. Good pick up under pressure. Garlic has some support behind in Seymour. Seymour dangerously across the middle. Needs to sit for love, does. Gives it the ruse. He's caught. The ball's given away. Kelly caught also. Some terrific stuff. I say, cool to win this. It'll sit for Brown. Closing on 30 metres, Tony Brown runs, kicks and has missed. He should have been penalised, he ran too far. But what a great tackle by Nathan Burke on Paul Kelly to cause the turnover. In actual fact, he could have gone over the top then, Tony Brown, to Stuart Lowe. Oh, he could have stopped and had a picnic, Donny, at that much time. Oh, it just uh, it was so easy, wasn't it? It was just too now easy. Now, look at that tackle, fantastic by Burke. There it is, out Joel Smith. Doreen's kick, Jones and Garlic very hard. Controls the uh, ball to centre wing. Smith and Luff. Smith just plays it to the line rather. Elliott and gets a free kick. Luff just a little careless there because Elliott was going nowhere with the ball. He wanted to go out of play and Luff gave a free kick away. In short, taken by uh, Beveridge. Two goals in the opening turn. Low to lead. Beveridge waiting patiently. Low goes. Beveridge kicks to the pocket. Low can't quite get there, but certainly puts some pressure on the man in front of Mooney, and the ball's out of play. I think it'll be a mean Stewie Low in this quarter. Well, a mean was shown just then. He did step a little short, Stuart. It's a bad miss by Brown, wasn't it? I mean, you can't get that against good sides. If, you, if you're going to break that echelon and get up the top, you've got to nail those. Well, Burke missed a very easy one in the opening term, and Brown, that's two, and that makes a big difference at the end of the day. There's Brown, that's clever, to Harvey. Well done, Seymour. Still well done. It was fantastic football, Seymour, to Ruse, to O'Loughlin. Good rebound. Wants to give off. In the end, goes very wide, but delivers to Huskis. Huskis, Winmar will come hard at him. Huskis will wait. Stop, prop. O'Loughlin wants it in the centre. Grant wants it short. Lockett's too far away. Huskis goes out wide. 
Ruse has got it. Geez, worked well, Ruse. Well, actually, that was a good battle. I watched that. Ruse delivered the ball from half back short and then just kept on running, and Daniel was bearing down on him, but he just dropped his concentration, and Ruse slipped him and take, took that mark on half forward. Lockett drifts towards half forward, leaves the gap. O'Loughlin fills it. Rocker about to come on for, um, for Sydney and Keo warming up for the Saints. It's clever, O'Loughlin. He's uh, not out of this from the pocket. He'll take a good one, but uh, he's got some freakishness about him. He can do the mercurial, tries the check side. It's a behind. Grant's come off for that Shannon Grant for Sydney. And Trionides has come off for St Kilda, allowing both Rocker and Keo on. Doesn't look 100% fit, Grant. Just not moving with great uh, Well, he had a down rhythm. week last week. And he was replaced. Kick out comes wide to Matthew Young. Marks it just inside 50. And O'Brien there with hands up in the air, which forces Young to go back and kick it high. Does. Kicks it pretty well in the end to Elliott. Has another player on, it's Daniels, and he has to sit and wait. St Kilda now gives it off, no, called back. Oh, gee whiz. I would have thought that was almost in the general play. Daniels, between wing and half forward. Kicks and kicks really close to the boundary line, but finds Wakeman. It's just a shocking kick off the boot, he's not noted kicker, Daniels. Just centimetres in front of the boundary line. Big kick, four on one here. Stewie Lowe had no hope and gave away the free kick to Ruse. In fact, Dunkley. So Andrew Dunkley will clear. Whoa. Sit under that, Daniel McPherson. Almost got it to Jones. Dyson handball misses Doreen. Joel Smith hard on the ground, they all are. Comes out wide to Stafford. Kicks back inside, centre wing. Harvey runs at it. Oh, got by Rocker. Absolutely got him cold. It now falls to Rocker. He's also caught. Tremendous piece of play. Burke first to recover. And a free kick is going back to Neil after the tackle. He's from tough, Kelly. Robert Harvey. He's up and he's still going. Advantage given. Burke to Brown. Brown delivers to full forward. Low again outnumbered. But he's got it. Luff mistimed it. It looked a Luff mark and uh, Stewie was able to take it. He had four or five grabs. No, it was a great mark. Just watch this. The numbers are around low. Look, there's four of them. All going for the ball, but he just held it. It's great. Scores a level. Low kick two goals in the opening term. He's kicked 400 for the Saints. 70 this season. He's happy. They need the big fellow, they need a focal point, and he is the focal point. That's his third goal, and it was a good mark because just appreciate the numbers that he's got around him. There's Luff, there's Dunkley, and also Ruse. And not easy to do that. St Kilda up by a goal, falls to Burt. Winmar off the back of the square, has a bounce, now has to kick it under pressure. One on one contest here, Ruse to Wakeland. Daniels just stands and waits. Back to Keogh, usually pretty good with the skills, really kicks it very high. Elliott can't get hold of it, neither can Lowe. The ball on the ground, players in over the top of it, and the bounce will take place. It's unusual, isn't it? In league football, this is the top level as far as this sport is concerned that you've got guys in there that can't kick one is Dunkley and the other is Daniels yeah they, they can't kick but not effectively all the time <laughs> oh, so oh, they're, 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 they're shocking there's an umpire that can bounce Harvey John in over the top Dyson and Keo right with him oh coming out was McPherson's pretty well done to Maxfield throws it onto his boot falls to the wing O'Loughlin exciting away from Peckett kicks the ball over Lock Lockett's head at the back Barsley first to recover. O'Brien puts in a bit of a chase and he kicks it out onto his left side and Matthew Young has it and breaks away. Kicks to centre wing, good kick to Brown getting touches. Mr. Sitter early in this quarter, go on quickly to Elliott. Elliott at half forward, 
delivers to the pocket to low. Did he take it? No. Play on. The ball hit the ground. And look at the swans around him. It was a quick movement, wasn't it, by the Saints? Down that wing, they flanked it quickly. Lowe presented himself. Let's have a look and see if it did hit the ground. Yes, it did. The half volley. <laughs> he made a good go of it, didn't he, Big Stewie? Luff comes in. Ooh, oh, gee, should have given a free that. kick away. Lowe put down again. Ooh. Actually, it was a fairly fight, a very naive attempt by Lowe. Because he really should have been standing opposite the umpire. He was as open as a garden gate, and he copped it. Has a big swing at that one. Everidge looks for a free kick, not paid. Play on call. Saints fans don't like it. Off the ground by uh, Kelly. Marked by Brown. Brown 70 metres from goal. Low leads now. He wants the ball in the centre. He kicks it to him. But again, free against him, and Ruse has got it. Weight of numbers for the Swans. Ruse at fullback, kicks the ball wide, gets Huskis at half back. Or Maxwell, I should say. Defensive 50 metre line. Kicks it out towards the wing. Creswell uses his body pretty well. Just gives a short nudge, small nudge, and takes the mark. Now picks up. Oh, windmill over the top of Huskis. That's a very good mark. Hits the ground and runs. Nicky trying to use the ball to Keo. McPherson's right with him. Does well, the youngster. Comes back inside. Just doesn't quite deliver as he should. Enough time there is Stafford. That's terrific for a big fella. Real cool and calm. Oh, Lachlan. Oh, special. Some more magic. Here's a go. The kick only has to be good and it'll end up with Lockett. No, again, for about the tenth time, the ball just doesn't quite well find done, Lockett. Shanahan. Shanahan runs it out and does excellent. well. That was excellent. But it's just the kicking, isn't it, that's letting them down up forward at the moment in the Lockett direction. See, that was excellent play and the crowd appreciating it. Great mark. He's got plenty of time. Look, plenty of time to deliver that ball. Lockett was already on the lead. Just didn't didn't carry. Everett. O'Loughlin trying to come through. Everett a second go. Creswell pushes forward or high tackle. Beveridge free kick. At half back. Had a good first term with a couple of goals. Took a great mark and kicked a long one. Smith's got it at centre wing. Such a neat player. A bit of Reese Jones away about the way he runs and stays upright. Wakeland provides a lead. Pretty casual, Joel. He's taking his time. He's not ready. Well, there's not too many options. Everything's covered. Now he runs on from the mark and floats one to half forward. Daniel's front spot. Creswell. It took too long. Should have given the reflex handball off. Burt to Keo. He's on his wrong side. Controls it to low. Just two against him this time. Ruse did very well to get back. Well played, Ruse. McPherson's handball. Doreen made it okay, runs his measure, delivers into the centre, important ball, Winmar Huskis, Winmar playing for free, Huskis holding him up, good contest. That's a free kick actually, uh, Winmar. It'll be a bounce, Beveridge getting in there too. So this game, nothing breaking now, it's tight at the moment, it's 6-3 St Kilda, 5-3 the Swans. Yeah, he's looking at that double teaming, Ruse dropping back on low, if there's another player than Daniels, a goal kicker, I'm sure some of the Saints players would kick it to him. He's been free many times, Brown, Bounces away, then goes wide with a kick, and guess who? Ruse. Actually, fa actual fact, when Ruse cleared from the opposite back pocket, Daniels let him off. He could have really cleaned him up. Pushing the back. Great kick. There's the umpire right there. He just dwelt on his jump, O'Brien, and so at Barsley in. As you can see, just see how he just dwelt. It's a pretty smart play, actually. Felt the opposition player behind him. Well, there's really nothing on here, unless it's very short, which it is. Goes to Huskis. Now he can break over Everett's head. Everett's standing in that gap at the back, punches the ball away from Lockett. Why didn't he take it? And a free kick will go to Peter Everett for a push, you would presume. Young out wide. So the Saints have, Saints have done this pretty well. They've actually switched play. And after a first quarter in which Sydney had it in their 50 metres 22 times to 8, they're now leading 11 to 4. So the game played more, more or less in St Kilda's first half. A heavy shepherd by Keo, and he's just getting up now. Rocket is a pretty tough competitor. That's number 17. We'll just watch this on screen. Kid in a bit of trouble, Grant. 
Oh, he's got the staggers. Crawford getting ready to come on. Stafford, well done, McPherson. Creswell, it's very tight here in the, and tough in the uh, trenches. Keogh, left foot. Next couple of goals important for the context of the game. Elliott tries to push forward. Ruse, Kelly has to give it up. Luff, you've got to keep a cool head here. Luff, he does. Did it all right. Floats it well to Doreen. Lockett takes off. Doreen won't get it that far. Bouncing ball is a poor kick. Off the ground by Crawford, who's come on. Rocker's handball, not good. Smith gives it up a bit too quickly that time. A bounce. Sydney's delivery disappointing at the moment. Shannon Grant's situation different. Well, Shannon Grant just came on the ground, Bruce, and got that heavy knock, as you saw. He's very badly winded, but just on the ground level here, uh, St Kilda playing that game right across the ground. Very tough for the ball. Rocket tries to grab it out the air. Everett right with him, just puts enough pressure on him. Bibridge wins a good 50-50. Off to Smith. He loses it. Dyson onto his left foot. Lock it. Yes. Almost unstoppable, Tony Lockett, or unstoppable, I should say, if the ball is in his normal stride, because he's just so big. And that one, really, Shanahan. He's quite deceptively quick, isn't he, over the first couple of yards, Lockett. That's the way, the way he gets away. He led, he led uh, Shanahan by quite a few metres to that ball. And Tony Lockett. Kicked 1,090 goals. A couple more than you, Don. I'd in his career about, so far. Uh, a thousand more than Lee Mookum. <laughs> and Tony Logan. Deliberate approach. Kicks. Ah, oh, the scores are level again. Tony's got his second. <laughs> Terrific stuff. Great contest here at Waverley. And Don, for about the fourth time, the scores are level. Yes, and uh, this is Dyson who'll get it. So the advantage of tackling, and there's another turnover. That was Maxfield, and a lot of that doesn't... It goes unsung, but really it's important. And we've seen quite a few of that, those turnovers. And that was Dyson getting it across to uh, Lockett. We always focus on the finisher, but it's the guy up the ground that does the work. All square at Waverley Park. Everett and Stafford. Kelly held on to. Crawford, Huskers. Jones cuts it off, kicks quickly, Brown after it. He's had a productive term in terms of uh, the amount of touches, but he did miss that sitter. Goes back, Harvey, Brown well played, the one-two, and then runs away on that left foot, which he does so well, to half forward. Wakeland against the odds. Pushed over the line. Deliberately, no, boundary throwing. Seven, St Kilda's goal. All square, six-three apiece. Lockett's got two. And Lowe's got three. Luff and Wakeland, Wakeland, well done to Elliot. Again, well done. Joel Smith to full forward. Good oh! kick, he's got it. It's a goal. It's a great shepherd by Lowe. What a sensational goal. There he is, Rocket. Good hit down by two Wakeland. Look at that. That's a classic hit down. And there he is. Joel Smith going in. And that was aided by the fact that Lowe laid a very heavy, heavy shepherd. Now, Everett's got to do a little bit more on these centre bounces. He's not getting up. And Stafford is now starting to dictate. He's either got to change his angle, jump early, or jump into him. If you're writing a script, you'd suggest that the Swans will probably get the next goal and the scores will be level again. And that was better by Everett because he jumped into Stafford and at least got the ball forward. And free kick to Paul Kelly in the centre of the ground. Look at the muscle definition on the little fellow. It's out wide, Rocker. Pushes his opponent out the way. And belts it away from him. Good oh, on you, Rocket. Oh, Keo and Garlic went very hard at the footy. Terrific stuff from them. Ruse just overruns it. O'Loughlin to McPherson. Wants to handball a fair bit to Dyson. Chased by Burke. Not quite there. Oh, the kick sets up Creswell. He can keep going from 50 metres out. Kicks and has missed. And so the script writers didn't get it quite right. Just a point resulted. And Garlic still buckled over after that. Uh, well, it's a tempered shirt front by uh, Keogh on centre wing. Jones off. Try need he's on for the Saints. They lead by five points. It's a great kick by Dyson to Creswell. He really should have gold. Young off to Harvey. Harvey through the centre.
kicks the ball to centre half forward, not quite that far. Luff's big fly, did well. Down to Maxfield, wheels around onto the left. Bangs it back now to centre half forward. Good mark, Peckett under pressure. Rocco was hard at him and Peckett hurled his ground. It's been a lot of courage all over this ground today. Young's kick out wide to Joel Smith having a good match. Everett's on if he can find him. He kicks it to him now. Everett got it at 52 metres. Elliot runs for him. He does kick the ball a long way, Elliot, uh, Everett. Lines up. He's given that a fair roost to the goal square. Well done by Kelly. Daniels was there. Actually, uh, Daniels did really very, very well there. Running in behind, and that's who Everett was uh, aiming for the ball, or uh, aiming to hit. Jareem will have to restart this. The umpire's whistle's gone. Player's still in the square. So the square must be clear before the player can kick out. So Doreen, just the six points margin in favour of St Kilda. Now elects to go long. It's a lovely long kick. It's gone 15 metres over the 50 metre line. Mooney over the back. Sets up Luff. Terrific play in the end. Two kicks in the O'Brien direction over his head. Peckett back there to help out. Does it well. Gives it off to Young. Young chips the ball forward and finds Elliot. Elliot back to Young. Loves to run. Really does. And kicks the ball. Wakeland over his head. And Mooney there to assist and out of bounds. So uh, just two long kicks and a knock on Don. And almost a scoring chance for this one. Well, I was just contemplating. Young was at Hawthorne. I'm just thinking of McDonald and also Crow at Hawthorne. And both getting regular games in their respective sides. Yet they couldn't get a regular game at Hawthorne. And that was Young clearing the and killed it. Brown from Wakeland. Brown goes to the pocket. Winmar the target. He's got it. Will he get 50? And for the Sydney viewers, uh, McDonald and Crow play for Collingwood and Young we see playing on half back. And here's the build up. Now, should this be 50? No, I don't think so. He more or less tripped. There was nothing in it. Brown, 10 kicks, five handballs. Winmark coming up for his uh, ninth kick. Such a skillful player. You give him a chance from the pocket. It's a beautiful kick. He's got it. It's a, that was bad marking on that occasion by Huskis. We'll get this again on screen. Now, Winmar's actually played on. He's, devi he's deviated off the line. Now, here's the, here's the build-up. We're not so much interested in this, but watch this. Now, look, he's now play on. Now, look how he's gone out, and Huskis has just stood the mark. Straight so run at uh, Winmar and put the pressure on him. So the Saints by two goals. And going forward again through Trionetti. He's trying to pick it up. Terrific stuff. Ends up back with Burke. Shared to Harvey. Harvey runs onto his left foot. Going to fall right on the goal line, and Ruse knocks it through. There's some damaging work being done around the middle of the ground now by the, the Saint on ballers, and the margin out to 13 points. Enjoying a great patch at the moment, uh, St Kilda. That's a fantastic kick by Doreen to Ruse. He's kicked at 50 metres. He's got a good brain, hasn't he, Doreen, as far as uh, this uh, kick out is concerned. He's a designated kicker and he really does pick the right option. Ruse wanted O'Loughlin. Try and he's too slow. Maxwell got him. Kelly overran it. Now O'Loughlin again. Burke was left. No free kick. Young just took too long that time. Keo doesn't give off. Decides to deliver and does it neatly. Got too far for Daniels. A big ball here. Daniels Mooney couldn't stop him. Daniels back in the direction of Beveridge. Couple of Saints. They're in trouble. Trinidi should have been holding it. Handball off was okay by Harvey. Beveridge could kick this. High ball. Hasn't quite got the legs. Low. Dunkley. Good contest. Oh, there's a free kick. Well done. Peter Carey. Gee, that's a brave decision. And a that's terrific to see. It's great to see umpires paying this type of thing. Look at the holding. There's so much of it goes on. It's a blight on the game. And all it needs is the umpire to pay a few of these. The coaches will back them up because they don't want the uh, penalty. Or the penalty. Here's the angle, Don, uh, with Lowe, who's kicked three already. Goal here would be very damaging to Sydney. Just before half-time, check side missed it all. Kicks the ball out of bounds on the full. Not a good result.
I guess they're great when they come off, but uh, you just want more out of that, don't you? From the pocket, garlic well, to bring it back in. Well, he's not a selfish so how could he perfect it? Kicks it out wide. <laughs> Harvey. Creswell's got it at half back. The Swans need one. Chip away was okay. It was very good. Crawford on the boot. Held up as he kicked it to half forward. O'Brien and Bardsley. Good battle. O'Brien turns him inside out. Kicks to Lockett magnificently. It was fantastic football by O'Brien. One on one stuff. And then delivered on the left. Well, one great full forward at one end of the ground misses. Lockett's uh, kick here not quite as tight as Lowe's, but still a tough angle from the pocket. He has kicked two out of two today, Lockett. This to tighten things. Remember, Sydney kicked the goal on the siren in the opening quarter, and we're inside the last minute of the first half. They need a goal here. And Rocker off and Seymour on for Sydney as, low, as Lockett lines up. Lockett from the pocket. He's pushed it across the face. He's missed badly. It's a behind. 2-1 to Lockett. 6-5 to 8-5. You can see the clock. Less than a half a minute till half time. Can the Saints get a late one? Beveridge about to come on for St Kilda. Try and need his wide. He takes the mark. You think time will probably beat uh, the Saints as they attack Bardsley through the centre. Chance here to Young. Now they've got a chance if they can take the mark. Young pumps at the centre half forward. Luff back. Misses everybody. Chance for Elliott. Runs onto it. Can't take it. Clever. Siren sounds. No score. So it's a two-goal game at half time. What a terrific effort. 8-5 to 6-5. So in that term, the Saints kicked four to one. And it's a tough game of football here at Wavely too. And uh, St Kilda really are mounting a challenge as far as Sydney is concerned. And Sydney, they'll just have to snap out of the apathy that they're showing so far to get back into the game. Because if you give a side like St Kilda the space that they have and their confidence will soar, they can go on with it. Scores at half time at Waverley Park. St Kilda 8-5, Sydney 6-5. And it's interesting that McLean's in the ruck, Everett's in the pocket for St Kilda. Start of the second half at Waverley Park, 8-5, 6-5, the Saints to the left. Stafford wins it, had a good first half. Maxfield on it, there's a good attack early, kicks the ball deep. Lockett sets himself off, fantastic mark. Should have got the free kick, although the umpire was on the wrong side of that play because Shanahan had the left hand wrapped around Lockett. We can pick it up because of our camera angle, you see there. It's a yeah. great kick, it went to his side, did it? Gave him 51% of chance, and with champions, they normally get them. This will be a brilliant start for Sydney, just the one they'd want. A goal within a minute, Lockett will kick from 25 metres out, he's kicked two. He's just setting himself. Gets down low. The champ should not miss. You'd back him 99 out of 100 from here. He's got it. What a great start. Stafford to Maxfield to lock it. A goal. 8 5 7 5. Things tighten. Well, it comes back to that centre square, doesn't it? And there it is. And McLean will just have to lift his game. You can see what St Kilda are doing with two big men down there. And that really could offset. Uh, Offset the Sydney side because what has happened is that Ruse has now gone into the back pocket to pick up Everett. So Ruse was hovering around that centre half back. So they won't have the run that they had earlier. So it comes back to McLean to offer a contest. Yes, needed a contest here. McLean. It jumps better. well. Does well. Brown and Creswell go at it. Brown damaging second quarter. Really one of the lesser lights. Him and Matthew Young got a lot of the footy in that quarter. have been turned on. Last time I was out here, Don, they turned them off for a while. In fact, quite a long while. Harvey. McPherson. All those first reactions to handball. Uh, there's a free kick coming back and we'll go to Robert Harvey. Well, the lights might come on, Malcolm, but I'm telling you, it is getting cold. <laughs> Unfortunately, Don, we've got no heaters. Harvey. 
really did miss Lowe with that kick. And this is a big turnover. If O'Brien can get onto this, it's McPherson in... Uh, Brian it is. Kick it comes at him. Brown, left-handed handball. Harvey to Burke. So the trio, the duo, work very well. Where's Lowe? No, not there. Dunkley takes a very good mark. Andrew Dunkley kicks to Criswell. There are players here. Bruce is by himself. He ignores him. Goes longer at boundary line. Daniels gets a free kick. Mooney pulls him off the footy. And it's interesting you call back. Ruse. He's now on centre wing. Everett back in the pocket. And there's a 50 metre penalty going to be paid if they can get it down. St Kilda will catch Sydney out. If they can get it down quickly. There's Ruse running back to the pocket. I think Daniels will go long and high with this ball with the two big fellows in the forward and full forward positions respectively. There's Everett on the lead. Daniel short, out wide, McLean made the mark. He's still a long way from home. He's a rookie in his first uh, year, obviously, 22-year-old. Hasn't kicked a goal in AFL football. He's going to kick from 50 metres. He's got distance, but uh, hook and a behind. Saints by seven points at Waverley Park in what is a vital game for both clubs. Sydney to really wrap up a spot in the eight. You'd think that 11 and a half wins would just about be enough to get home. And uh, St Kilda, they're on six wins. If they can make it seven, they'll have some presence. Kick good to Huskus. Huskus at halfback. It is getting very dark here. To garlic that's good kicking by Sydney they've got the ball almost to center wing Kelly's a long way down the ground it won't get that far that's a terrible kick may come off but she was an ordinary kick Dunkley's got it his kick to uh, Maxfield important here Burke with him now kick it and young kick it's clever but young's persistent well played so could have won that one and the uh, Swans probably had a 60 40 go at that ball and they lost Harvey Harvey again, okay to Burke. Quickly onto the left, well played to Brown. He should go on. He had Everett, decides not to, holds it up. Still holding it up, low leading. Brown kicks to centre half forward. Low there, punch from behind by Seymour. Stafford, well done. Kelly sits and waits. Handball was excellent to Luff. Luff delivers off one strike, long and hard. O'Loughlin underneath. At the back, here's kick it. Campbell, brilliant, oh, well done by Mooney, fantastic football, a goal! That lifts you, it was a super handball and the big man took it in his stride and delivered and there's a point in the difference. Now how long Derek Kicker can continue in football is a real mystery because he's not a fit athlete but boy is he skillful, look at this. That's something that fitness will never get you, and he can continue on for a number of years. He's capable of the mercurial, and there was an instance. That was an excellent handball. Interesting move, this, uh, and beaten again is McLean. I mean, Everett was all right in that first half, and they were in front, but uh, the St Kilda Match Committee have opted the opposite. O'Brien kicks to an open square. The ball's bouncing, running away from the goals now. Peckett... There to cover it, and overruns it. Lucky not a free kick behind to, uh, I think it was O'Brien. Don, how did you see those right contests in the first half with Everett? Well, Stafford? I just thought that Everett, uh, I thought Stafford was being controlled in the centre bounce down itself, but around the ground, Everett was a real problem. Yeah, interesting, a couple of goals, but uh, that was the well, there's a free, free kick. kick to kick it. So the amazing Derek Pickett, very well be instrumental in two goals. One to Mooney. In fact, it's going the other way. It's... Uh, I didn't understand that. What? Hanging on what to Mooney. The, yeah, but what about the free kick to um, to kick it? Well, it's going to come over the back. Yeah, that's true, but it's the one the umpire sees first. So obviously, he saw the infringement against Mooney before he saw a push, perhaps, on kick it. So, Mooney, lining up for two goals, second goal in two minutes. Played very well at Sinar Ford for a while last week. So, the left footer kicks... And a beautiful kick. Swans are in front. So they come out blazing. Three goals in the first four or five minutes of this third quarter.
Well, as we reviewed the first, there's the free kick. There's a hole, the infringement there, and it takes a courageous umpire to pay those. Once again, it's against McLean, isn't it? The inexperienced one who's been beaten twice pointlessly in the middle. Now McLean's gone down to the forward line. Now Everett's on the ball. Swans in front again. Three goals they've kicked in a hurry. Big turnaround here. Stafford doing well. And Maxfield's rooting him well. Stafford again. Push forward to O'Brien. Playing up the ground. Kicks the ball inside the 50. Neil after him. Very hard at it. Very hard at it. O'Loughlin. Clever. Pickett's with him. Still O'Loughlin. Oh, well done to Lockett. Brilliant O'Loughlin. Kelly's effort to put the pressure and then O'Loughlin's poise he didn't give up the footy in a hurry and just caressed it to lock it in the end it's like he just eased it to the big fella watch him oh it's, it's great to watch can lock it kick his fourth this will be a sensational start for Sydney in the second half if he kicks this tucked away in the pocket That's not a bad effort to hit the top of the goal <laughs> I suppose you want seven points for that too, Don, will you? Did you notice, Malcolm, he just ran out slightly? Yeah, he did a bit. He was trying to kick it too hard, didn't he? He's normally not like that. He's much more graceful. But uh, just that difficult angle, that isn't it? It's, just a, it's probably a six to seven out of ten angle. Peckett goes short. Oh, Ozzy Jones under enormous pressure. It falls to Burke. He's at the back now for the Saints. And Matthew Young to steady things down. Comes inside, it's a very good kick to Daniels. Puts Neil under pressure, and that's what poor kicks sometimes do. They want to give it away all the time. Peckett was there running, wants to draw a player, does. Keo over to Smith. Smith hooks the ball around, not far enough, and unfortunately out on the full. So disappointing then from St Kilda as some indecision through that midfield occurred. Obviously, Maxwell was a problem as far as Maxfield was a problem uh, for St Kilda because now he's got Daniels on him. Lose to Stafford. He looked for him and got him. Stafford's a really impressive player. Comes away. He's unsure. Doesn't panic. Creswell. They should be all right. Dyson. Harvey holds his ground. Seymour gone. Play on call. Wanting Ruse. So the Saints held up Sydney, but in the long run, I guess Sydney. Push the ball forward about 50 metres from where Stafford was going to take the kick anyway. A good sign that he didn't panic the youngster. Everett and uh, Stafford to do battle. Goal the difference. Terrific game at Waverley Park. So much at stake. Dyson. Onto the boot in a hurry. To half forward. Young uh, leading kick it. Gets a good bounce. Goes to the boundary line. Punches it out towards Harvey. Keeps it in play cleverly. Harvey on the boundary line. Hugging it. Kicks the ball to centre wing McPherson. Should get a free kick. He's got it against Keogh, quickly plays on, Smith with his back to it, missed the opportunity, kick in the centre half forward, missed by Elliott, he'll get a free kick. So Elliott at half back now, pushes the ball wide and should find Neil. Ball does sit for him, coming very hard was Luff, great gather there by Brown, screws the ball around inside 50, Dunkley in front, over Lowe's head and tap towards the boundary line, Huskis sits, waits, now needs to finish, chips it lovely, Luff. Centre wing, goes back, one step, beautiful kick to Mooney, presenting himself at centre half forward. Now swings round on the left foot, kick it, Young can't get hold of it, the ball spills, O'Loughlin, fantastic give to Maxfield, kicks in the locket direction, big fella up, Shanahan does well, both players to ground, still in play, Huskis has a player in the square, chips the ball towards that player and has marked. Brian, terrific stuff from Swans. Actually, I'm impressed with you because Houston, there he is there. He started as a half-back flanker. But boy, does he run. He delivered the ball on the half-back line centre wing and he kept going just a moment earlier. And there he's run down into the pocket, got involved once again. He's a real improver in this side, Adam Huskis. The momentum swinging Swan's way with another Craig O'Brien goal. Well, that's his second Craig O'Brien. Donnie shows enormous courage here, O'Brien, because uh, this is a tough mark in the end. And and here we go once again. There's Maxfield. Now remember, Huskis was way up on centre wing, but he's just continued running. Lockett holding down Shanahan. 
And a good pass from Huskus. Good effort. Four goals to Sydney in a great start of the second half. St Kilda have to respond. Kelly magnificently done. Kicks the ball a long way to half forward. O'Brien caught underneath it. Bardsley with him. Lock it to put the pressure on. Bardsley off the ground to Young. Young keeps it down low to Burke. Kelly into his back that time. Free kick. We more or less negated one another, Kelly and uh, Burke. Both goers. Terrific leaders. Burke short to Shanahan. Shanahan half forward, low bit of free kick against Dunkley and incidentally both Kelly and Burke wearing numbers of respective champions, Bob Skelton wore 14 for South Melbourne and Ross Smith had the number 3 Guernsey at St Kilda, low short but it was cut off, Wakeland provided the lead, Creswell got it, kicks the ball wide to Garlic, loose man will be created, Mooney over the top yes Mooney getting some important touches Oh, Fiedekam has 100 metres, but uses Roos instead. Now, Roos has 25. Beautiful kick normally. Excellent to lock it. Bardsley off, and coming on is only... Uh, is Neil. Robert Neal's coming on. His locket lines up. Here is Mooney over the top. Roos running. He's a problem, isn't he, Roos? Tony Lockett. Going for goal number four, and suddenly the Swans start to find him with their kicking, and down the other end of the ground, the low kick missed, and that quick transference of players, as we see in modern footy, and it can really hurt you on the way back. Tony Lockett kicks from inside 50, kicks, spins it beautiful. That is a super kick. That is a great kick. Lockett gets his fourth, and the Swans increase their lead to 18 points. Well, I thought it was too, Malcolm. A great kick because it's a distance out, and you can see when he's a long way out from goal. I think he was just more or less hoping to put it up in the vicinity of the goal square. There he goes, and he really jumps into this ball. Look at that. You don't usually see that. He usually lays back onto it, into it. That was a good kick. Everett wins the tap, but Creswell cut it off before Brown could get it. Sydney on a fly here, they're right on top. They've kicked five goals to none in this uh, third quarter. Green and Aussie Jones boundary throw in. They're showing their uh, quality here, Sydney. They've beaten North, Carlton and Geelong in the last month. And pressured here by St Kilda, they're responding like a very good team. There's a long way to go yet, I know, but at the moment, Sydney on top. Everett at the back, Garlic, well done. Read it well and then controlled it to Mooney, who's become an important player. He's kicked two goals in this quarter. He gave off to Ruse a moment ago. He's become a focal point. Lockett leads, Mooney kicks, doesn't really give him a chance. O'Brien sits and waits. Lockett at it hard. Well done, big fella. Round the body. Hooks it too far. It's a behind. Do they give him a lot of space, don't they? The opposition players, that is, when Lockett's near the ball. 4-3 to Lockett, 11-7 to 8-6. Crucial time for the Saints now. Their final eight is on the table here. Let's see if they can respond like a good side. Pickett to himself. Comes out wide to Brown. Closing Luff. Does well. He's an improved player, Luff. He's been around a long time, been delisted on a couple of occasions. He's well, certainly found form. Yeah, it's players like Mooney and Luff who just uh, have been around the scene for a while and can play forward and back. Just getting a bit more flexibility into their team. Luff tries to tap it over the back. And the kick from Joel Smith is wide. So a free kick coming back to Creswell or McPherson. One, one of the Swans players will get it. It's actually Darren Creswell. Mooney makes himself available again. The ball falls short and Robbie Newell marks on his chest. Defensive 50. St Kilda really needing a goal just to stop this onslaught from the Swans. Kicks. Lovely weighted kick to Smith, and that is a good mark. Low, out, and takes the mark. So playing out of centre half forward, off to Keo. Keo runs. Daniels has to sit and wait. Does well, holds his ground, and Daniels has a player over the back, and the kick is ordinary. Has to sit and wait. Is young. 
kick it almost. Doreen at the back. Dyson call to Ruse. Tries to get rid of Winmar, can't. But eventually after Huskis, whose kicking has improved. Although that one player, opposition player slipped to Harvey. Comes back, buys a bit of time for Everett. Everett now goes very long. Players everywhere and low. Well, Wakeman's gone off. Mooney, Wakeman's playing at centre-half back and coming on is Trionides. Now, Trionides will go down to the forward line as we see Stuart Lowe take the mark. Just wait and see who's picking Mooney up now. Elliot, uh, Don, Jamie Elliot. Well, there's a bit of a mismatch, isn't there? Elliot, not a big player, but he'll certainly give them some run off half-back. Huge kick, this. You just need your skipper. And full forward. Numbers of goals against his name. 71 for the year. You need him to kick this to get you back in the match. Stewie kicks. He's dragged it a bit to the left and unfortunately has missed. So all the St Kilda players will go, oh no. And perhaps that negative thought creeps in as Shannon Grant comes back on and the margin back to 18 points. McPherson off to McPherson off for Sydney. Luff the target. Creswell on the up to Luff was okay. Luff, who's often found some space today, a second bounce, then floats it to half forward, gets distance, Mooney uses it well, goes to the pocket, oh, Lachlan's so clever, he's a brilliant player, left foot, great kick, he's got it, fantastic! Yes, well, you do need pictures to describe that, and um, luckily we have we've got television pictures, and what an effort from O'Loughlin. Now, he's normally a right foot kick. He's an up and down, in and out type of player. He runs hot and cold, but that's what you expect from these players. They're capable of the impossible. And what an excellent goal from the half forward. Disappointing fade out this by St Kilda. Six to nil when they led by two goals at half time. In the Premiership quarter, a lot of people call it the third quarter when the heat's really on. And really, well, they Sydney the really couldn't have played as badly, could they, in the first half, considering that they've had such terrific performances in the lead up to this game? Yes, their last goal, second quarter, 23 minutes, and Stewie Lowe had a big chance before, and O'Loughlin really did hurt them on the way back. Scrap of players. Dyson. Someone other throws his leg at the ball and gets it forward. Almost a great attempt there by... It is, it's Dyson again. No, Mooney it is, sorry. Kicks the ball forward and finds O'Brien. Amazing. So Mooney has a purple 10 minutes and so do the Swans. Well, I just don't know whether the fat lady be getting up to start that song, that well-known song. Yeah, it's amazing how it falls for you, isn't it? Luck in football and uh, look at the, the space that he's found yeah. too. He's a goal kick. He's just pushed this one a bit and there's only a point. So he's disappointed with that, but the margin creeps out now to 25 points. 12-8 to 8-7. So at halftime they trial by 12. A 37-point turnaround in this quarter. Pecker to bring it in. Saints have got to find two goals before three-quarter time, you think, to have a hope. Got to close the gap here. This has been the scoring in today. Free kick coming to O'Brien against Elliott. Well, things are not working now because Neil took the mark. And O'Brien is just a little too far out for the goal. He's got Creswell short. Now Lockett short in the pocket. He kicks it. He has to wait a while, Lockett. He's going to get a free kick. Shanahan over the top of him. It'll be a tough kick from Lockett from here. We saw Low miss one from here in the second quarter. Have another look at this uh, lock at front spot. It's about all he could do. He's kicked four goals, three today, Lockett. He's had a big third quarter. There's the angle. Good view of it. We're right behind Lockett here. This will take a very, very good kick. He has oh. got it! It's a goal! What a wonderful kick by Tony Lockett. He had the big post. 13-8 to 8-7. This is a good football team, Sydney Swans. Well, here it is, the free kick, and Shanahan really had no option but to give it away because Lockett definitely would have taken it. And this is an excellent kick. 
is his third goal in this quarter. Excellent. So there's some space on the scoreboard now, and it's all the Swans' way. Everett finally gets a tap. Kelly bursts through as he so often does. Goes back to Huskis. He needs support from behind in Luff. Kick smothered. Goes back for a second attempt. Oh, now that is kicking in danger. And Jones knocks the ball forward. Keo gives it up. And the Swans really can raffle this. Come away back into the centre. Stafford's been important. Plays on. Kicks the ball very high. Sitting underneath it, Kelly. Didn't even deviate his eyes off it. And then gives it to the champ, Kelly. Uh, lock it. Oh, well, well, does it matter? I was going to say, you're right on both occasions. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly was just great. And... Just his finish then to lock it. But I was impressed also with Stafford. Stafford's a much improved player. Couldn't go last year because of Rose's performance in the seniors, but he's been around for a long time. Just wanted the opportunity. He's got it. Some exposure, and he is growing two in stature. Lock it kicks. The goal umpire has not moved. He's got his six, and a Swans win, you'd almost think, for certain. Gee, and I wonder what Stewie Lowe's thinking at the other end. One chance in this quarter, misses it, and now Lockett's kicked four for the turn. Yeah, well, they're winning it around midfield and also half-back, Sydney. And here's the build-up. Now, Stafford, real confident. But then he's got great skill. He can kick the ball well. Got mobility. And there he is, finishing it off Paul Kelly. Yes, they play this five-man forward line, and if they do get a break away from defence and get some space, it really does give Lockett a chance. Eight times this year, Lockett six, six goals or better. It's a great record. Maxfield out of the centre. Sydney on fire to half forward. O'Loughlin couldn't quite take it. Elliott held up by O'Loughlin. Uh, young, I should say. Kick it. Jumps over and then gives it to the umpire, John Harvey. In a bit of a hurry, John Harvey, good he is, says, uh, that's OK, I can take that. Gee, that was excellent play by Maxfield, the way he got into the centre there. He was coming off the outside of the square, on the edge of the square, and he actually roved the hit out. He's done it a few times today, Don, and done it well. Mooney did well against Everett. Down to Harvey. The big four have got a lift for St Kilda. Harvey, Burke, Winmar and Lowe. As Neil kicks it in Lowe's direction. Ruse at the back like a sweeper. Constructively to Tadreen. Normally a good kick, no exception. Luff has played this role very, very well. Across half-back. Very short. Dyson was a bit too short in the end. Joel Smith on the boot. Oh, not good. Straight to Ruse. Ruse to Doreen. That was a bit cheeky. Doreen's balance was excellent. They're playing a little too confidently. Winmark cuts it off. He can go the length of the ground and kick a goal. He's a long way from home. Goes with a long one. Lowe's got the drop. Comes in hard. Pushes it back to Trinidis. Left foot. Lowe couldn't quite hold it. With strength, Ruse holding him up. Well done, Ruse. A good effort. It was a good passage of play all round. The way Winmar chopped that ball off at midfield, then went long. I thought Lowe would get up for the big climb, but he's punched it in front to Trionides. Trionides back, and here's Ruse. A great battle between those two. McLean coming on. For St Kilda, I think it's Joel Smith going off. Jamie Elliott, mate. Jamie, is Just it? over two and a half minutes. Lowe grabs it out of the air, smothered. Off the ground from Luff. Goes out wide. First to meet it's Dyson. This has enough composure to trick it round the corner. This is McLean just on the ground, as Don mentioned. Confronted by Garlic. Ozzy Jones is there too, but so is the skipper Kelly. Tries to get it off. Maxfield gets Burke and dumps him. Garlic, quick kick forward. Wakeland first there. Mooney makes a contest of it. Fantastic tackle again by Maxfield. And the Swans really, from a less than 50-50, have held it up on centre wing. Stephen Kernahan mentioned uh, on Talking Footy that uh, they were aware of Sydney's record in the third quarter when Carlton played them. They made a big effort to beat them in the third quarter. Yes. And uh, it's happening again, isn't it? Here we go. Off to Young. Swings it out wide, very wide. Daniel's being held onto by Kelly, and that'll be a free kick. Brown tries to go on with it, but uh, up by John Harvey calls that back. And goes short again to Young. Just sets him a bit of a task by sitting him back. Now low. Here's his two-on-one again. Has had a fair bit. Falls to low. Quick snap over his shoulder and the 
ball goes out of bounds. Yes, 37 points. We're all thinking what a great game it was at uh, half time, and could the well, Swans get back? Well, it was a great game, too. And it still is, I think, the excellence now of the Swans, but just the diminishing aspects of uh, St Kilda worrying. Kick out on the full. So there'll be a free kick here to Joel Smith. And he'll kick, and I would suggest to have a shot for goal because they desperately need one. He's a skilled young player. Give them some hope for the last quarter. Kicks, sits it up high, really across the face, and punch through. So nothing happened there, really never gave it a scare. And the margin back to six goals with just under a minute to go of this third quarter. He's used a world terrain all day, hasn't he? He's hardly wasted the ball from the back. And again, gets 50 metres and gets Huskus. Huskus to Seymour. He leaves it for Garlic. Had a good start to the game and has kept going. Garlic's kicked to Creswell. Had a look up. Saw Burke pushes forward to Winmar. Winmar pretty good early, but quiet in the middle part of the game. Kicks to Beveridge, who had a great start with a couple of goals. A long way from goal on this occasion, about 90 metres away. Low provides a lead. Beveridge decides to handball over the top for Burke, who makes the link short in. He's got three, and he finds Smith. Surely a goal for St Kilda now in this third quarter. This will be their last chance. It's been an eight goal to zero third term. But uh, Smith must kick this. He's got one goal. It was a beauty in the second quarter. Goes back. He's kicked it poorly. That's a dreadful result. Well, they're converting those earlier, weren't they, St Kilda? They remember Burke and Brown missed sitters in the first half, and they're adding to them now. 14 goals to 8. 14 8 to 8 9. Seconds remaining in what has been an outstanding third quarter. Can I ask you gentlemen a question? Paul Roos's right thigh, is there a calcification there? Is that hence the pad? Kick to Luff and. Three quarter time, 14 8 to 8 9. Final term about to commence at Waverley Park, 8 9 to 14 8. Sydney with an eight goal third quarter. Saints couldn't manage one. They had a couple of easy shots. Everett back on the ball. Dyson after it. Everett with him. Everett tries to get the handball across to uh, Brown. Quick kick by Doreen didn't go fast. Stafford, well done, was leg. Got the handball away. Daniels was holding on to Kelly. No free kick. Keogh finally gets the first a really effective kick of the quarter to half forward. Luff free kick to Joel Smith. Luff probably just over the shoulder. Smith to take it in the uh, centre square. Had some moments, Smith. He's uh, wasted the ball a couple of times. Goes quickly, low the target. Stafford back. Seymour read it okay at the back. He could just chip away to Creswell. The kick not uh, great, but Creswell's got a bit of a paddock. Smith to close on him. Puts the pressure on. Creswell gets his kick in this direction. Luff hard at it. Will he take his man on? Keogh, no. Decides to blaze away. Peckett waits. Can't get clear. Kelly brings him to ground. Kelly like a little terrier. Back towards Daniels. Sydney hold it up. O'Brien still play on. Good umpiring. Peter Kerry now wants it. Bounce. It's Creswell after that clash. He's uh, picking himself up. I wonder who ran into him. Big ginger. Rodney Keogh. He's got a couple down today, Keogh. One was Shannon Grant. Kelly in trouble too, by the yeah, way, Don. Just looking at that too. Kelly, let's hope he's all right. Young gets it to Everett. Everett gets it to Nathan Burke. Nathan Burke out wide. Gives it to Robert Newell. Neil chips the ball to Brown and takes a good mark running back. Grant holds him up. It's a player out wide and it goes out that way. McLean. Stops dark. This seven-man defence that the Swans have used comes back inside to Wakeland. He has to stretch right at the point of the square and O'Loughlin holds him up. So the Swans very disciplined on the mark. Now kicks and kicks very long. Right at the top of the square. Stafford there and marks. Stafford now called to play on. Has to come out wide. Kicks to a 50-50. Seymour. Oh, turns trying at his inside out. Off the garlic court. Back to oh, terrific handball. And really does set up Huskus. Tries to kick on the outside of his boot. The ball falls short and Kelly in front. Marks. Watch Lockett. There he goes. The big fella. It's a big high kick. Lockett's got a bit of a sit here. 
almost pulls it down. Maxfield quickly to boot the ball to O'Brien. Crawford runs hard at it. Under pressure, O'Neill gives it off towards Daniels. And Daniels has to sit and wait as Roos closes. Almost gets hold of him and then spins around and gives it to Burke. And half-back goes on now. Chips to Joel Smith. Almost up to centre wing. has got some space. Runs away on the left. Good-looking kick to Peckett or Winmar. Some indecision, I feel. Free kick will come back, though, to Winmar. Good decision by the umpire, too, to bring it back because Peckett really wasn't in the position to take the advantageous free kick. Low the target. Oh, big fly came at the back by Dunkley. Play on Stafford's been fantastic to Maxfield. The chip. O'Loughlin onto it. It sits now. He takes on Everett beautifully and then kicks to Lockett. He's got him. Play on. Garlic turns his man inside out. Then goes to the pocket. Not a good kick. Getting back Burke. Little handball to Neil. Couple of mistakes creeping in. Neil hugs the line. Mark paid to Harvey. It was a touch and go. Well done, boundary umpire. When a bloke makes such an effort, you should pay it. <laughs> when it's so close. Oh, so if he nearly kicks a goal, you basically call it a goal. <laughs> no, disagree in that case. Centre wing. Garlic. Little give. Free kick to Grant, not paid. Dyson. Maxwell didn't look. Quickly onto the boot. Back towards full forward. Shanahan, Neil. Well done, Neil. But, Actually, uh, Neil's been playing very well. He started with Sydney, didn't get his opportunity up there, formerly of Canberra, but really has come to the fore since going down to Sarah St Kilda here for the Saints again. Lockett, in fact kick it, sorry, runs at it. Now gets the ball out to Brown. And Tony Brown bouncing through the middle of the ground. Wants low, goes in that player's direction. Three on one again. They've been very good at this once and getting that extra player back. Huskis tries to go on the ground. It goes to Smith. Smith wants some support. Really hasn't a lot to do with and then just unloads it quickly to Dunkley. Dunkley almost controls it. Now it can kicks and kicks out very wide to Garlic. Pressed by Jones. Favours him. Oh. And then Basketball taps it to himself and kicks it to Everett. Trinetti's off and Bardsley on for St Kilda and Bardsley's down on the forward line. He was playing down back earlier before he's taken off the ground. And Everett well within kicking distance. Well, looking back in the goal square, you would say there are two, four, six swans to three St Kilda players. If he does kick it, the numbers will beat them. But it's a beautiful kick, the one the Saints needed. Start of the last quarter. Well, he's kicked two goals, three last week to Peter Everett. He started on the ball for the first half, then was down in the forward pocket, but it just didn't work with McLean in the ruck. But Everett has done this well, and today and that is dropping down into the forward line putting the pressure on Stafford because Stafford's going back to help the other defenders on lock eighteen of the twenty three goals in this match have been kicked to the right of screen it's a remarkable statistic I'm not sure if it's a, a true one Crawford's kick to lock it to O'Brien, he takes Shanahan on, well played, hooks it back, good kick to the square, Rocker and Wakeland through from behind. You Remember... see Rocker there, he's come on and Mooney's off, Bruce. Kelly did... Kelly won the to kick to the right, did an injury report? Yes, Darren, Cre um, Darren Creswell came off the ground before and uh, looks like he's either done his AC joint or dislocated a show at the stage. So Creswell off now, Dipper, 18 out of 23 goals at one end, there's no breeze, is there? No breeze whatsoever. Thank you. Kelly on the mark. Keo kicks into the centre. Target Daniels. Free kick should be. Gets it. Let's get the feeling, Malcolm, if the Saints can get the next one, there's just a glimmer. Well, there is, isn't there? I mean, just that use of the footy now as players get tired. If you can control the ball like this, can you lose players? Smith gets it. Back to Neil. Neil to half forward. They're wanting Winmar to have a big last quarter, a goal kicking last quarter, like he did in the third against Fremantle. Grant gave it up. Dyson to Doreen, Doreen wide. Garlic's been good all day, hasn't he? Takes it at half back. Sydney will go on with this game. Yeah, he's 21st possession, it's not his best. Finds O'Loughlin, who's been lively across half forward. Maxfield. Tips the ball forward, really does set up O'Brien. Harvey, caught, unloads it. Maxfield bursts away. Go the way, he can kick a goal. Keep well, he going. can, he can Keep now. Going. 
He wants the goals and oh, kicks and has yeah. missed the lot. Unbelievable. He could have kept going. Shanahan to take the kick. Comes back into Pickett right at centre half back. Now must be called to play on. He went to play on with his hands. The umpires missed that. Goes out to Wakeland. So to half back flank. Wakeland breaks away. Kicks it long. Packer players four in fact. Daniels keeps his feet. Kelly's in after him. Sockers it off the ground. Luff call but gives it to Young. And his chance. Off to Smith. Uses his pace. Wants low in the centre of the ground. Terrific kick. Everett back in the square by himself. Go on, quickly. Oh, 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 oh. He's had half hour to kick it, and Everett but still then, no, no, no he couldn't there. have kicked it, actually, Melton. Just looking at Peter Carey, he's still lying. He would have blown time off. It's a decision thing, isn't it? I mean, by the time the ball gets there, it does take three or four seconds, and players can cover 30 or 40 metres in that time, given a trotting start. Stewie Lowe with three goals. And kicking for 40 metres. He missed one in the third quarter, which was important. Missed that. Yes, I hate to say it, but uh, another miss. Right when a goal would have been all so handy. Still a big margin, but uh, another one or two, and things just tighten a little. Dyson gets it short from Duran. Dyson's kick out wide. Everett goes high. Well done. Smith having a big last quarter in terms of possessions. Misses Everett, though. Seymour can run away from him here. Kicks the ball into the centre, not all that good. McLean back to Burke, quick kick. Some mistakes creeping in here. Bardsley keeps his on it. Oh. That was a great contest. Crawford and Bardsley, both of them well done. Bardsley's got the mark. Both men had eyes for the footy. He's got a man loose in the pocket. He goes there now to Brown. He was almost off. He thought about it, had a little slip, goes back. And Crawford hurt himself too when he contested that mark with Bardsley. Bluey uh, knocked the wind right out of his sails, and here's Bardsley, uh, not Bardsley. That's Brown, Tony Brown. Couple here's of Crawford. Couple of behinds today, Brown. This is a big kick. Any hope the Saints have got, he must go. He's got it. It's not all over this. 10 10 14 9. Four to one, the Saints. The Saints. <laughs> and there is where he knocked the wind out of his sails. Crawford, but Barsley gets up, finds Tony Brown. And Barsley, who's come up on and off the bench, he's had a wretched run with injuries through the year. The Saints have got within 23 points now. The next goal, ball out the centre, very important. Uh, falls to Dyson. Kicks it forward. Wakeland just fumbles it, crucial time, and gives it up in tight to O'Brien. Kick forward. Lock it, and Shanahan there, but only a point result, so that margin to 24 points. And Craig O'Brien gets his second point for the day. Everett's got to put his body more at the centre, Malcolm. He's reaching for that ball. He just doesn't want to make body contact at the centre bounce down. Matthew Young to bring it back in. Goes long. Two on one here. Swans the favourites. Kick it working hard in underneath. So is Burke. Crawford there. Done very well in that situation, St Kilda, to get it to Brown. Tony Brown. Back inside to Harvey. He can run. Here he goes. Now kicks in the low direction. Big fist from Dunkley. Falls to ground. It's Joel Smith out wide to McLean. McLean marks. He's got to do a little bit more around the ground. He's taken a couple of marks on the forward line today, McLean. And he's got a chance to convert with a big score. Andrew McLean from North Launceston. Kicking for his first goal in AFL footy, and he's got it. And the Saints are within three goals of the Swans. Really not much margin for error the way McLean dropped that ball onto the boot and executed the... Here's the mark. 
And very taut, not much follow through. Short stabbing action. It was an excellent kick for goal. And just watch his kick. Bang! And ran straight through the ball. Good kick. Back in the centre. Kelly held. Daniels after him. Roos mops it up and gives it up to Peckett. So the pressure's on. Swans look to have this game in complete control. Kick comes out wide. Dyson, Harvey, both go to ground. Roos in there over the top and a ball. Ball up. Half forward flank. Saints into attack. 14-10. 34,337. The official attendance. Good crowd here. So St Kilda coming back again against Sydney. If they can get the next one, we've got a great finish coming up. Bardsley, Ruse. Bruce, they haven't lost a game in Melbourne this year, this one. I think they've won six. Kick it off, and Shannon Grant coming on, and Grant's going down to the half forward line, picked up by Matthew Young. The umpires, Rowan Sauce, Peter Kerry, John Harvey. A lot of experience there. I think they're on a winning run, Malcolm, including last year of eight consecutive wins in Victoria in Melbourne. So again, a bounce. And this remarkable statistic that only five goals today have been kicked to the left of screen. We've had 24 goals scored and 19 have been to the right on a day where there's no breeze at all. McLean and Ruse. That effort of the Swans seems to have tied them in the third. Beveridge kicks it long. Good kick right there, a chance. Goes to ground, off the ground by Kelly. It's a behind. Desperate effort by Kelly. 11-11 to 14-10. St Kilda coming home hard. Sydney hanging on. They've won six in a row, Sydney, this season. Ten of their last 12 with one draw. Doreen straight down the centre. Wants Luff. It's a good kick. He's got him. Terrific Isn't mark he two. an excellent kick out from goal? He really does set it up well, Doreen. Oh. Mistake by Luff. Smith on to him. Luff outnumbered. Ooh. Kicks indiscriminately. St Kilda with a chance. Lowe's by himself. Smith's kick wobbles. Low. Kelly to get back. Kelly and Low. Ball goes to ground. Low again. Dudley's hip and shoulder good. That was a great save in the end for Sydney. Low looked a winner, didn't he? It looked like he could get the goal. And the Swans are able to hold it up. Just amazing, desperate stuff from all players there. Paul Kelly really did save the day. The Swans by 17 points. The Saints coming at him. Everett pushes Stafford out. And a free kick. Defensive free kick. So the Western Suburbs boy. Greg Stafford. Kicks. Long kick. Big fly. Super mark from Dunkley. Gives it off to Seymour, under pressure, has to go wide, the boundary line will beat Winmar. So, just that poor third quarter from St Kilda. As we look at this mark again, just a terrific jump as McLean crashes underneath him. Now it's Ruse and McLean, go for the ruck. Ball on the ground, players working underneath. And another bounce. It's just under seven minutes. It's been good. There's a flat patch in that third quarter when the Swans dominated. For the rest of it's been a very, very competitive game of footy. And as we've mentioned a few times, as Harvey gets it finally to win mark. Caught holding the footy. Call play on. He really should call this back. And that is good umpiring. That is what the rule's there for. There's no advantage. And I think if that was the St Kilda team on the end of that, they wouldn't be very happy either. Now here it is. That's a great tackle by Maxfield. He's very, very aggressive. And you can see there, Winmar frustrated by the tackle. Stewie Maxfield goes long. He's really going to favour Keogh. Stands his ground in front. Can't get hold of it. Ooh. Wakeland goes inside. Neil runs the gauntlet. Brown, clever, back to Harvey. Has to sit and wait for it. Now can go very wide. Players everywhere. Everett should go off to Peckett. Ignores him. Goes wider still to Daniels. Daniels does like to handball. He's kicking.
Racing sometimes does let him down. Now undecided. Now goes for the safer option in front to low. Dunkley does well to get it to ground. Barsley runs onto it. Boundary line beckons. Garlic over the top with a high tackle. Called play on. And the players really, I think, expecting a free kick there to Barsley. Well, I think I would have given it. I mean, watch this on replay. Barsley to ground. Low and Stafford, Stafford, Jones, well done. Good kick. Oh, great play by McPherson, two on the line. It's a wonderful effort by Jones. Been solid, hasn't he, McPherson? Five rush behinds for St Kilda. They're totaling up. That's a terrific kick. Out wide, taken now by Seymour at half back. They do goal Sydney just to make a certain of it Maxwell did very well takes his man on let's hope he can deliver better this time kicks towards Lockett pushed out by uh, Shanahan play on call Wakeland getting back and he concedes with Rocker against three Saints but probably the right option and Sydney go to 14 11 to 11 12. It's almost amazing Bruce that St Kilda seven of their games have been in that 20 point range and I hate to say it but you think that may be a same similar today. You know, they're almost there, aren't they, against the good sides, but just quite. Still, fair way to go yet. Rocker can't get hold of it. Huskers can. Oh, terrific smother from Keo. Almost bursts his way clear. Caught is young, throws it onto his boot, goes out wide, and that player again, Luff. And a very good game. 15 kicks and four handballs and eight marks. So he's had 20 touches now. Ruse. It's also having his 20th touch. Goes short. Really lacks marking there from Burt. Really let Shannon Grant go. He looked around to see what was happening behind him. And then Grant ducked away from him. Shannon Grant. There's a big hole in which Locker can move, but I think O'Brien's going to it. Goes inside to Garlic. Garlic also with 22 touches, so it's been big, and there it is. They've finally worked it out. And Stafford got free. Now he goes back inside, and O'Brien's called play on, not long enough, onto his left foot, kicks, and it's oh. the post. Sign of arrogance when you can start and do things like that when Stafford got the ball and arrogantly kicked it, barely, well, it wasn't even 10 metres. So they ate up some time too, Sydney, that whole bit of play, didn't they? Peckett brings the ball out wide, so the Saints now, time is against them. They've got to get the ball down quickly and score. Neal at half-back, kicks to centre wing. Everett attacks it, didn't get a very good bounce. Huskers well played. Oh. Clever, well, he set a throw, the umpire. Thought Huskers had actually controlled it pretty well in the circumstances. Had improvised cleverly, but uh, Winmar's got it at centre wing. Little chip to Harvey, they need to get a goal, the Saints. Someone's got a break of line here, do something a bit special. Harvey wants low, doesn't get that far, Luff, now Dunkley goes long to centre half forward, Rocker should take a mark, he does, can go on too slow, Rocker, O'Rockland holding the ball against Rocker. Gee, that was a hard one, wasn't it? Wakeland wide, a wobbly one to Peckett, Peckett at centre wing, takes 10 metres and then kicks long to low, it's a good kick, he's got a big Stewie. Play on call, not help, uh, not to paid. Beveridge's hands were good. Harvey round the body, just one up in the air. Sydney have got numbers. McPherson couldn't hold it. Brown's kick around the body. High ball, low should take it. No, it was hard. Well done, Ruse. Dunkley to the line, out of play. Right forward pocket. Last chance for some cool, you reckon. They've got to get a goal out of this attack now. Yes, Swans by 18 points. Rodney Ede looks on. And yet to kick a goal in this quarter are magnificent ones in the third quarter. It's remarkable. St Kilda are fighting. Oh, super handball. Ends up with Bardsley. Hooks the ball back. Coming hard at it is Ruse. Punches away well. In a tight situation, does well. Just throws it on the boot. McPherson has to wait. Almost marked. Pressure was good from Brown. Ball ends up back with Young. He's caught. Slips. Back to Brown. Winmar cool to Keo. Almost off, holds up, 55 metres out. Enormous amount of Swans players. Now it goes in the low direction. Oh, coming across brilliantly was Maxfield. Falls to Wakeman. 
but a free kick to Luff in underneath from low and really danger. The Swans players get so many players back that it is hard to find goals unless you actually swap the ball over from one end to the other. Out to Crawford, half back flank. Swans just trying to buy some time here. Wakeland, big jump from behind. Off to Burke. He's under pressure. Now, Wakeland number two goes long. This two on one. Everett, last crack, but no. Ruse too good. Paul Ruse has players breaking for him to the right, and that's the way he heads. He's played a great game again today. Probably not quite as spectacular in the last couple of weeks, but very effective. Grant measures the kick to Kelly. Young with him out of play. But Sydney are home now. Seven consecutive wins for the Swans. Cemented in the top three on the ladder. They could even be uh, right up near the top tonight. They're going to be in the, a great position. Here's Harvey away. Oh, look at this kick. Got low. Oh. Good effort. Oh. That was fantastic. He was moving at top pace. He's come into the game in the last quarter, Robert Harvey. Stewie Lowe Low goes back, marks a spot, but that is excellent. The skill of Robert Harvey. He's had 33 goes at it, but they've been workmanlike 33, well, they, hasn't you it? Know, that, we've seen him break, and that's what we're capable of seeing from Harvey, but uh, statistics do lie sometimes. He's kicked three, Stewie. All in the first half, he's missed his last three shots at goal. Kicks it and kicks it badly. Try and Eddie's back on. Wilson killed that. Doreen. He hasn't mucked up one kick in today, Doreen. He's always found his mark. Goes long, Luff. Winmar, free kick to Luff. At half back. It's been a good player, Luff, again today. 18 kicks. Goes long, kick at the target. Wakeland uh, outgunned him there, took a good mark. Wants to give off to Burke. Maxfield holds Burke up pretty well. Wakeland, well, nothing much happening. Swans players, there's no player behind Wakeland, by the way. All Swans players drifting back as they've done before. Tareen wobbles it over the line. Boundary throw in. Sydney have won again in Melbourne. That's nine consecutive wins in this city. And they keep this winning streak this season going. They're up to seven. After today, a good effort. Keo. That's it. Barclay's kick won't count. Shouldn't be a score. That should be the final. It's Sydney 14 12, St Kilda 11 13. It's an interesting stat that, Bruce, isn't it? There are times in the history of the game that a side hasn't kicked a goal in the last quarter and won, the, won a game, and this is one of the very few times it's happened. Let's go down and uh, join the Big Dipper. He's got Paul Roos. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, well, in your 300-odd games, have you ever been on top of the, la the ladder? I think once in uh, 1983. So. Well, the way things are going now, uh, Paul looks like uh, the Swans are going to finish on top of the ladder. And what a great game today. It was an important one for both sides, but uh, yeah. it certainly won after that third quarter. Yeah, we knew it was going to be really tough, obviously, St Kilda still got their finals chance to live, and they came back in the last quarter. Lucky it was, it was only a 25 minute yeah. quarter because they had a full head of steam up, and uh, I was happy to hear the siren go. And at half time, what did Rodney say? Obviously, the skill level in the first yeah. half was terrible. Yeah, that was the big thing. We, we got the ball well, won it well, we just turned it over far too often. Short the 50 50s, which we're not supposed to do. You know, and then they rebound the ball with the, the great midfielders. There's a lot of viewers in Sydney watching this game. They must be very proud of the boys. Uh, things are going very well. I mean, last week was a sensational game up in uh, Sydney. Yeah, exactly. Last week was a big game. I think that's what made it pretty hard today. You know, coming down to Melbourne, coming down to Waverley, much bigger ground. You know, very fierce opposition. And uh, we're happy to get away with a win. Now, Ruzi, you're going very, very well. <laughs> with a little band out on your nose. Yeah, a little band. It's a secret, so don't tell anyone, Dipper. Well done. Congratulations. The big dip with uh, Paul Roos. Sign of a good team, isn't it, uh, Malcolm and Don, that probably not completely on song, yet able to win the games that are very important. Well, that's a sign of a good side. That is the sign of a good side. They, were, they weren't all that good in the first half, and there they are acknowledging their support. And they've got a big support base, as I mentioned earlier. The former South Melbourne supporters would still be here because this club is in tradition, he's one of the inaugural clubs 
in the AFL or the VFL if it was known. They moved to Sydney and they've still got a supporter base down here and it's good to see them here as they walk off the ground here at Waverley with a final score. Sydney running out winners 14-12-96 and Kilda 11-13-79.